what's going on guys this is Viron. today we are going to create a login form using sql server database in visual studio 2022 so let's start first of all open visual studio and then click on create new project and from the template select windows form application and windows form application and then click next and then give the project name and then click next again and then click create it will take some time to render your visual studio because this is a bulky id now after rendering uh, go to the toolbox that is at the left corner if you don't see that option from the view option uh, you can show your toolbox and from the toolbox you can drag and drop your control over your form first of all let me change the color of this form and the name of this form here from the text property and i can change the color from the back color property from here click drop down and you can choose from custom color web color or system color whatever you like here i am going to choose from web color and okay i am going to choose this purple color now from the toolbox drag and drop some controls uh, we need two buttons here so drag and drop two buttons and we need a text box so you scroll down and drag and drop to text box and then to labels also labels and then one check box check box and one link label and one picture box also now uh, let's arrange this in a nice way and change the property of its controls now we have to change the variable name of this text box so here I'm going to write txt user and this one is txt pass and checkbox text change the text of this checkbox from the property this is so password this is a bit small you can increase the font size from the font property like tubel tubel it seems perfect now change the label text to username you can also change the color of this control from for color we are going to choose the white color one and change the font size also this button is so cancel button 
and this button is login button you can also change the size of this button so that it looks nice and change the color also You can also change the butter background color from back color here. I'm going to choose the green one. Green. And this is red. And you can change the text color. transparent sorry i changed the back color not the font color so font color here and you can change the font size also and same process for this Here goes to it, and the color is transparent. Okay. Now, this is the link label. We are going to change the text of this link label also. the size also font size and color also this color is it looks that good there you go now from the property of password text box and find the password character and here give, you give the asterisk sign so that when you type your password you don't see your plain text now select your uh, picture box and choose your picture local import i'm going to choose from documents okay and you can choose the property from here there you go when you click that so button after running your application the password must be shown there if you check that check button now we finish our uh, designing part save it now open SQL Server Management Studio. If you don't have, uh, you can download it from Microsoft website and install it. Uh, click Connect. After connecting, right click over database and new database. Login app. Click OK. Expand your database. That is login app. And expand that also. Right click over table, new table and here user name data drive is bad care password bad care simply control plus s and give the table name login app okay now expand that table also right click over your recently created table and then click on it top 200 rows so that we can save some data here like admin admin you should not uh, use this simple username and password in your real application i am just using this for the demo purpose 
uh, click that close button uh, the username and password will automatically save now go back to visual studio and go to server explorer right click over data connection add connection refresh your server name choose your server name and click that trust server certificate and choose your database my database is login app click ok now your visual studio is connected with your sql server now double click that login button we are going to write the code and scroll at the top of your code and we need to use some directive here using system dot data dot sql client and here if uh, your intelligent uh, does not show sql connection that what you need to do is right click over your solution explorer click on manage number package and browse and from here sql microsoft.sql microsoft microsoft.data.sql client you need to install that and click on install After installing this pop up window will uh, display click apply i accept and go back to your uh, cs file and here inside the clicking event of that button sql connection con is equal to new sql connection and inside here you need to pass your connection string so select your database from the sql server and go to property and copy that connection string control c control v and uh, remove that uh, space in the cross server certificate to true and here goes semicolon uh, string query we are going to write a query the query must be inside the query so here what we are going to do is write sql query select count asterisk means count all the row that is affected by our uh, where clauses parse select count from our table name login app where user username is equal to at the rate username we are going to use the parameter substitution here and password is equal to password semicolon now sql command cmd is equal to new sql command and here goes our query as a first parameter and connection is a second parameter and here we are going to pass the parameter so cmd dot pa parameters dot add with value and here goes add the rate username and this is replaced by txt user dot text cmd dot parameters dot add with value add password and this is replaced by txt pass dot text now we need to execute our query before executing our query uh, what we need to do is we need to open our connection so after creating the connection what you need to do is here connection dot open and here 
int count is equal to we are going to save the uh, executing query in a variable uh, because we need to convert that uh, executing query into integer type so uh, here we are uh, using uh, integer parsing here command dot execute scalar and here we need to close our connection connection dot close and if count is greater than zero if there is some rule that is affected by our query then what we are going to do is message box dot show login success and info and message box button dot ok comma message box icon dot information otherwise what we are going to do is else message box dot so error in login save it go back to your design double click that cancel button when the user click that cancel button what we need to do is we need to close that form so this dot close now when the user click this uh, checkbox what we need to do is we need to display the password so for that double click that checkbox and what we are going to write is txt pass dot password character is equal to checkbox one dot checked and we are going to use the ternary operator here question marks if the checkbox is not selected we are going to uh, display the asterisk if checkbox is text we are going to display the plain text here save it Go back to form now run your application now let's check if cancel button is working or not click cancel cancel button is working uh, execute again here i'm going to use the correct username and password admin admin and click that checkbox so this is showing our password this is adding our password click login now let's check our query here stop eight uh, query select count asterisk from or if forget here from our table name where username is equal to this one and password is that one save it run your application again and uh, interior username and password that is correct one that is saved in your database so password click information click ok if you enter the username and password that is not saved in your database uh, it must display error message error in login and cancel close your application and i'm going to show the um, forget password system in the next tutorials and for that stay tuned and keep subscribing this channel for this next tutorial so that's it in this video tutorial guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about these tutorials have a good day bye bye